today is June, wow, I'm forgetting the day. Well, it's Thursday, it's probably the 24th. 23rd, wow, I'm a day ahead. Anyway, I wanna start off, I have time, so I'm gonna pressure wash the 6190. This is the only tractor that hasn't been pressure washed. All these were pressure washed at one point, but like the 285 and 270, they have a layer of dust on them because it sat in here for literally a couple months. But anyway, and maybe you consider this as a dust coating, but I mean, I think it's a little bit more than a dust coating. This stuff's gonna be fun, getting in between the wheels there, which you can't even see because it's dark, but yeah, this thing is hogged up, so let's pressure wash it. And yes, I know, I've been doing a lot of pressure washing lately, so I wanna make it easy for you guys. I'm just gonna show the end result. So yesterday we set up the pump. I'm ever wondering, well, what in the world did you guys haul water on? Ground, around the farm, driveways, because it's so it was so dry, so dusty, and then we hauled two loads to the construction site to settle the dust. So um, I'm hearing a very weird noise right now, and I just realized it's the hoof trimmer. So maybe I'll show that if he's okay with that. But anyway, yes. So that's set up. And then we got rain, but anyway, it's Thursday. To make it easy for you guys, this is before. Okay, get a good look. There we go, final product. After some time, I even got in between the duels and the inside of the inner duel. But you just end up blowing dirt around everywhere, so. But yes, all right, we also look at the construction then, because you know, stuff's coming together. They have the freestall barn all done, I'm just kidding, no, they're just starting to frame up, so. All right, let's take her back. All right, so these ladies are already done. These ladies are the ones that need to be, uh, they have their hoofs trimmed. So it's a little different. This is a very interesting piece here. He's controlling everything with the hydraulic system there. Just like that, that's one cow done. But it's just the rest of the group that you have to do. Yeah. And you come here once a week, right? Yeah. Once a week. So it's after lunch here. I forgot to record. I did some other small things, but things that are changed. Uh, there's mud back here now since it rained. But they started to we'll be able to see here where our second lane will be into the farm it's gonna start right right uh i'm assuming yeah right here and it will go down to the road our other lane's over there and goes out to that road that you can't see but it's in front of those calf barns and then there's a four-way intersection down there, another, and then another road goes down through here, and this will go down to that road. So instead of driving the whole way down there, you guys get the point. Oh, it looks like concrete trucks here as well. Not 
sure what they're pouring. Probably something inside the holding area somewhere. Yesterday. So yes, this freestyle barn will have a roof. Well, it has a roof and then like a ceiling. So instead of just being a roof and then underneath it's just a bunch of the rafters and all that goodness. And then trusses. I don't know why I lost the term, but yeah, though you won't be able to see the trusses, I don't think. It'll be a roof. So yeah. That's where we are right now in the freestyle barn good stuff and nothing really changed there other than some probably concrete work but it's nothing too major so yeah let's go back to the up, up back to the shop I have some other stuff I need to do well before we get to moving I want to move these three calves up to the hutches man whoever's feeding the bulls today doesn't really have any calves to feed at all because all these ladies are oh you're excited to leave are you all right, these two look thrilled. Keep your head and hooves inside the cab carry at all times. All right. moving. Hey ladies. Twenty happy ladies moved. <laughs> 